just wanted to make a quick video on why I believe that uh, actors should become producers and directors. And that's because the world is changing, especially the entertainment industry. YouTube becoming the next Hollywood, pretty much. See, YouTube has become the number one video search engine in the world. There is nothing like it. If people are going to look for a video, documentary, a movie, in fact, the older movies, there's thousands of old movies that you can also watch on YouTube for free. Anything, there's uh, how-to videos, uh, DIY videos. I mean, you name it, there's so many things out there because YouTube is the largest producer of videos. Yet, you know what? YouTube doesn't produce anything. People do people like you and me. So everything is changing. I just did a Google search and uh, YouTube has over 1.9 billion monthly active users. All right, 1.9 billion monthly active users. And they watch a billion hours of video every day. To put that in perspective, that's over 114,000 years of video consumed every day every day think about that for a minute that's a lot of videos youtube is becoming the hollywood of the future even now it is already i believe that's why christians should become producers and directors and that's why in this video i give you the basic concept and perhaps help you in renewing your mind to the future so here's the basics of why i believe christians especially christian actors should become producers and directors and truly become YouTubers for the sake of spreading the gospel in a more creative way and a more effective way through YouTube and internet marketing. The business of acting. Yes, acting is a business. Um, I've been blessed, to be honest. I made a movie, a Hidden Rage, that it was a Christian movie and a lot of people showed up when they needed to show up. And I would say more than 50% of the people were not getting paid. So they really loved the project. So I, there's both things happening here. I want to talk about on how Christian actors, they I'm always waiting for the phone call from a producer or an email or a text. Hey, listen, uh, I got this movie. Would you like to work with us on the movie? And that's the dream job, right? To, get a, to be able to get a call and, and from a producer or a director uh, who's actually making a movie. I've seen all this from the side of the producer and director, and I see how exciting it is for an actor. And it's really a blessing when all this works together. So one of the important things I want to show you, and I have a clip here, a movie clip on uh, Charlie Chaplin. This is Charlie Chaplin at the beginning of his career. And as you can see, Charlie Chaplin at that first, he didn't really have it all together. I mean, he did not have the character that we all know today. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but at the beginning he was just experimenting and just being an actor and acting, as you can see right here. So this is one of these uh, earliest films. Um, once he invented his real character, he finally got this idea of being a bum, right? Um, and, and basically that's the character that has really that really blessed him and uh, he did for the rest of his life and always had the little mustache, we all know that. So, see, this is his character, right? But there was something that happened along the way at the beginning where he began to see that he did not have total control of the projects. We're talking about film. This is the beginning of film. This is black and white. This is no sound. Back in the day, the 1920s, these were silent films. So you can see Charlie Chaplin directing. What he understood back in the day, we're talking the 1920s, okay? He understood that in order to control the production, he couldn't do it as an actor. Because an actor, remember, depends on the producer and, and the director, right? The producer has to create a film first, and then the director, when they hire a director, sometimes the producer is a director as well, then the director has the job of hiring an actor. And of course, it's up to the director to hire an actor because he's the one directing it on location. 
Uh, here we see many of you for the first time, Charlie Chaplin, actually, these are behind the scenes of he directing a movie. Now, the movies he directed, he also acted in it. So that means that he would direct the actor, but then he would walk in and, and do his part as well. Thanks to this, he became one of the most successful actors, producers, filmmakers in Hollywood, at the beginning of Hollywood. Not now, a lot of things have changed. And it continues to change, and this is the reason I'm doing this video. Because as a producer and a director, I see how things are changing. And it's a lot of things not what we used to think anymore. Now, what this gave him was the ability to control the entire film, like I said, but also help them make a lot more money. Because the actors are always limited to the amount of money they get paid on a daily basis. But when you're the producer, the whole system changes. When you're a producer, you are the one making the negotiations directly, whether it's a studio. But in this case, this video is not to work like in Hollywood or, or for any studio, to be honest. This video that I'm making, I'm trying to prove a point that it is possible for any actor to become a director, and many have in the, in the, in the past. And so you can see right here, some of you may know him as Jerry Lewis. He was another amazing comedian. And Jerry Lewis became uh, not only a, a great comedian as, as an actor and made a lot of movies, but he also understood at one point, because when you produce and direct, you control the whole movie or the whole video, whatever it is that you're producing. Let's say you're producing a video for a client. If you come in as an actor, you're just going to get paid as an actor. But if you come in as the producer, then that changes the whole game. Now we're talking about an actor becomes a business person. And this is what I'm talking about. And there's another actor that became uh, a producer and director, and it's Mel Gibson. And we all know him. He produced The Passion of the Christ. So here you can see that these are like more recent, right? He's not from the black and white movies or the 1950s or, or the silent movie era. Or, he's actually a director today, and he's made a lot of great films and continues to do so, by the way. So what I'm telling you, I'm trying to show you, is that it is possible for an actor to become a producer and director. And why is this so important today? Well, because first of all, we see Hollywood has changed completely. They never give you the uh, opportunity to have a say in a movie. I mean, many of you know that. That also happens in commercial productions. I just wanted to show you uh, some clips and some videos here and photos, actors that actually became directors and producers. They control the film. Or if you're doing a commercial for YouTube or or for the web, or for a client, you as a producer control the business venture, right? You come in as a business person, not as just a producer. But um, as an actor, you're always going to come in and just do what the director tells you. And I know that's what actors are all about. That's fine. I'm a producer and director. I'm not an actor. So I see everything from the other side, okay? So uh, this is the side I'm talking about and showing you so that you can understand what really happens behind the scenes with producers and, and directors. But what's happening today, and this is why, again, I'm doing this video, is because everything is changing. And you may say, well, how has it changed? Well, the moment that digital video was invented, motion picture film was completely destroyed. Hollywood used to make all their movies on film. And um, and what film had for Hollywood, the actual film, the same one you see like when you 35 motion picture film, that now you don't see them anymore because everything is digital. What film did for Hollywood was that it gave them a total and complete control of the industry. Number one thing, Hollywood is a business and they want to make money. Any business, with any product that they have in their hands, they're gonna to try to control it. That means that they don't want nobody else doing what they're doing. Now, of course, Hollywood started first 
with the silent films like I just mentioned. Back in the day, the actual camera people that produced, they were actually the producers, they were the directors, they did everything. They actually developed the movie as well. They developed the movie and they also edited it. So it's amazing what this camera people did. There were only a handful of them back in the day when Hollywood began in silent films. And what was interesting about that is that it was like magic. They controlled this magic potion to make movies and nobody else knew how to make them. For years, nobody else could make movies, just Hollywood. So think about that. Hollywood went from controlling the whole film experience, controlling the actors, controlling everything, to now comes digital video and anybody can make a movie. It's not about them anymore. And with the quality of video, uh, which is amazing, anybody can make a movie. And then you have the smartphones. And the smartphones are, are increasingly becoming better and better with a better video quality they already have 4k quality so just a smartphone alone has the potential to make movies and there's people that are making movies with it hollywood has changed completely they lost control of it there is no control anymore to film and that's what you see happening so what they are doing now is just controlling the big pictures right now it's just producing mostly as you will know, movies about superheroes. And that's what they're doing, and that's big. And they're making money with that because they are so complicated to make because there's a lot of special effects. And in fact, I believe it's too many special effects. It's all green screen. Great movies sometimes, but again, that's the niche market that they have now. So the smaller films they used to make, love stories, all that stuff, all that has gone out the window. And there's always someone trying to produce one or two out there. But to be honest, filmmaking right now is in the hands of the independents. And that's why there's Christians, a lot of Christians making Christian films. And that's awesome. So there's still work for actors and Christian actors out there. There's still work. If you seek them and, and look for them, they still work for that. But acting is not the only way. Now, acting does give you an edge that a lot of people don't have. See, actors love the camera. Most people don't, I don't. You know, I think we're in an era of show and tell, but if you are an actor, you already love to be in front of the camera, and that's a cool thing. Now, the secret is to do what these guys did, to become the producer and director of your own projects. The cool thing about being a producer is that the producer has a different mindset. See, the actor, has a mindset to act in movies and in projects that have been already been written by a writer or a producer or a director, but they were never trained to be producers. Now we are as humans created to be producers because our creator, God is a producer. Just look at Genesis and everything he did in Genesis. In Genesis, you can find the basics of what a producer is. A producer is a creator. I believe that just like the Lord has allowed the invention of trains, cars, and airplanes for the purpose of traveling faster from city to city through highways and byways on the earth, today, in the same exact manner, I believe God has allowed the creation of the internet so that digital media may travel even faster than ever before. This makes the internet thousands of times faster and greater and more effective in the entertainment industry than television networks and even greater than Hollywood when compared to the fast growing power of the internet with the help of companies such as Google, YouTube, and many others. The web is becoming the entertainment capital of the future.